I am California of the past. I am California of the past. I am California of the past. Hi, my name is Jim Jordan. I'm a retired fire captain from Los Angeles County Fire Department. And I'd like to take this time to talk to you about one of the uh, urban search and rescue missions that I was sent on by the state of California and FEMA to Hurricane Katrina in New Orleans. Our LA County Fire Department is one of 28 urban search and rescue teams in the United States. And we were activated by FEMA through the state of California to go to New Orleans and Hurricane Katrina. They wanted to get us there with the least amount of disruption, so we drove about 2,000 miles to Katrina, 24 hours nonstop until we got to Dallas, Texas, where we stopped. <laughs> it was quite interesting getting there. FEMA needed to get things organized and have a place for us to be, so we held in Dallas for about a day and a half, two days, and then continued to New Orleans. When we got to New Orleans, they put us up at the uh, New Orleans Saints training camp in a big parking lot. The urban search and rescue teams come with about 70 to 76 members. We have search dogs, doctors, uh, construction crane operators, heavy riggers. We have tents, water, food, showers, portable water heaters, generators, uh, emergency supplies to keep us self-sufficient for 72 hours. So we got there, we set up our base, and we started a 12-hour day searching houses in New Orleans. We started out with boat searches, and it was very difficult because New Orleans was, as I'm sure many of you have seen pictures, totally underwater. You know, you could be floating on top of uh, an intersection and not even know where you were, and you could see the roofs of the buildings, and you could see McDonald's arches. So you had some idea where you were, but you didn't know exactly where you were. We used uh, portable GPSs to know where we were because you could see the map, and we'd know we were on top of the street or that intersection so we could identify the houses. One of the things that happened at Katrina was there are water moccasins, which are a poisonous snake down in the New Orleans area. And the guys would pull the boats up to a, the roof of a house typically and get out. And when they got back in the boats, there would be water moccasins in the boats. So they'd have to use an oar or a paddle to get the snakes out of the boat. And after that, they decided that it's better to leave one person in the boat to protect the boat than come back and find a unwanted visitors in the boat with you. The water subsided from the area, a lot of the areas, relatively quick. So we used all-terrain vehicles, big trucks, troop carriers from the National Guard would help us get to different areas, and we would do door-to-door -door searches of neighborhoods. There might be you know, six, eight inches of foot of mud in the street that we would go pound on the doors, search for people, mark the houses, you know, to see if anyone was in there. We would make entry to some of the houses through an open window or a door and look, and we did find a number of, a number of victims in Katrina. In fact, one of the last live victims was found about 11 days after Katrina hit. He was in the attic of his house, and if I remember, he was with, uh, with his cat. You know, we pounded on the roof there and heard a little bit of noise, so they made entry into the house and rescued the gentleman out of the, uh, out of the house because of the difficulties and the problems, we one day we had what was called force protection. And we kind of looked at each other like, what exactly is force protection? It was the SWAT team from the Chicago Police Department all dressed in their black Nomex to help us and protect us in case, uh, you know, in case someone wanted to, you know, cause trouble or whatever it might be. So it was very interesting having law enforcement that had come down from Chicago to volunteer to help us out. I went to the World Trade Center as well, and between the two of them, the World Trade Center was much more emotional. This was much more devastating as far as area-wise and the numbers of people who lost their homes. You know, there would be blocks and blocks of houses just gone off their foundations, totally gone from the water there. Boats were on top of houses, you know, uh, cars were upside down. It was just amazing the amount of devastation. But it was good we were there. There were New York police officers, people, the L.A. County Sheriff's Department flew their big Sikorsky helicopter there to help with uh, rescues. We were there for almost three weeks. FEMA has a, a rule or a policy that typically after two to three weeks, they rotate 
one team of pe people out so they're not overstressed, you know, overtired, overexerted. So they rotated us out and rotated uh, another urban search and rescue team into Katrina. So it was quite a volunteer effort from all around the United States.